This is Pete from Essex Ham. It's a Friday, I was bored, so I thought I'd try an experiment with one of Apple's AirTags. If you're not familiar with the Apple AirTag, it's a small tracker powered by a coin cell battery that uses Bluetooth for comms. Price £29. These are intended for finding local items. For instance, you can connect it to a keyring and find your keys if they're lost in the house, using a combination of direction finding or by getting the tag to make a noise. That's fine for short range, but the tags can also be tracked if outside of the Bluetooth range. As the tag has no GPS or internet comms itself, how does this work? Well, unknown to most iPad and iPhone users, their device is always listening for AirTags over Bluetooth, creating something called the Apple Find Me network. The upshot being, if our tag wanders past somebody else's Apple device, it will use that device's GPS and data to report the last seen location. So we thought we'd see how accurate this was and also try a little RF Bluetooth experiment. What we thought we'd do is post our tag to ourselves, inspired by watching a video of someone courier one of these to North Korea. We packaged up our AirTag and put it in a nearby post box at 14.53. Nine minutes later, the first ping, someone with an iPhone presumably walking past. We saw a few more pings from the post box and at 16.20 we noticed our tag had moved 0.3 miles, presumably the Royal Mail van picking up other post. At 16.58, a ping from a set of traffic lights. And seven minutes later, a ping from somewhere else. At 17.11, it was detected at a nearby post office. And at 17.42, it had arrived at the local Royal Mail Depot in South End. And at 19.07, on the move, on the A127, close to Rayleigh. At 19.50, three and a half hours after collection, it arrived at the Royal Mail South East Anglian Mail Centre in Chelmsford. It stayed there for about seven hours and we saw the final ping at 3.40, presumably being loaded onto a truck. 50 minutes later and it was back at the South End Depot, exactly where it was 12 hours previously. It stayed there from 4.27 to 8.49. It was then detected at a post office in Westcliff at 9.03. And what we were hoping was to see the progress of the postie as he wandered by houses that had iPads and iPhones, but we got absolutely nothing for almost two hours. Then we got an alert that the tag was home. Checking the post box, it wasn't. But five minutes later, and the tag was safely back home. We calculate that as 18 hours and 50 minutes, and around 56 miles travelled, and we were able to pretty much track its progress all the way, as the network of iPhones and iPads seems to be pretty solid. Based on that radio tracking experiment, that's a thumbs up from us, and a good way of killing some time on a Friday afternoon. For more on this experiment, go to sxham.uk forward slash AirTag. We hope you found that useful and perhaps a little scary. Thanks very much for watching. This feature was brought to you by Essex Ham, supporting amateur radio in Essex. Music